the uh, Modernism Show, and I'm talking to you. What is your name, young lady? My name is Laurel. Laurel, would you spell that, just in case? L-A-U-R-E-L. Sounds like you've done a lot of interviews before. I have done some. Now, Laurel, is your first name or last name? It's my first name. What is your last name? Rosenberg. R-O-S-E-N-B-E-R-G. Did you Not give the nuclear cold. secrets to the Russians? Um, you know what? When I was very, very, very young, they... Actually, I remember way, way that people teased me about that. I remember hearing about okay, that. Okay, so you're denying that you I had anything it. to do and with it. Not my grandparents, you... no family members, nothing. Okay, they weren't named Ethel or... No, Ethel, Julius. <laughs> Julius and Ethel. Right. So, yeah. um, what's the name of your business? Laurel Creations. Laurel Creations. Yes. Now, uh, I just uh, photographed you with several of your uh, paintings. Now, what did you call that butterfly-looking one? It's an emerging butterfly. An emerging butterfly. Right. Now, I know artists don't like to say this kind of thing, but who is someone that you might uh, equate your style with? I don't really follow anyone else. I know that people have attributed and say they see different artists. And, and who have they just seen? Channels. And who is someone, like, let's say, it may be a bad example, but I think of Maxfield Parrish because right. he did butterflies and that exactly. kind of thing. Did anyone else, if we were, you know, going to say... If there they was, say that um, Peter Max, I don't know, ah, I think okay. it's the color. The okay, color. okay, so there is a Peter Maxian. So in some respects, uh, thematically, like Maxfield Parrish right. and some of the color uh, usage as, uh, as uh, Peter Max. And so, um, how much do you want for that uh, painting? That's a Giclé. It's $995. A Giclé. Now, what does a Giclé, Giclé mean? Giclé is French for splattered ink. It's splattered a way, ink. It's a way Could you describe the, the, the Giclé pro, uh, process a little bit? The Giclé process is done by photography, photographing the work, and then digitally enhancing, running the color through a press. And, it. When it runs it through the press, does it run it through the press just once, or is it color once, after color? Once. Just but once. I also do my own work over it. So you take a G clay and then you do something. Paint over. You okay. paint over it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, wow. how long have you been doing this? All my life. Where did you uh, learn your craft? Did you well, go to Chenard's or Art Center or something? Actually, the Kansas City Art Institute, but way before that, I was drawing. As long as I can remember, I had crayons in my hand. Ah, so you were a, a drawing prodigy. Exactly. And so who were some of the artists that were inspirations? Who were some of the people you consider the great artists? Like uh, Surratt, maybe? or yes. who? Monet, who? Um, I even love... The woman who was an amazing artist, who was a mentor to me, was Beatrice Wood, but she was a ceramic artist. Beatrice Wood? Yes. From Ojai, California. Exactly. I so she at her was. Feet. So you sat at the feet of Beatrice Wood. Mm -hmm. Now, is it true her two favorite passions were not pottery, were not painting, but were young men and chocolates? Exactly. She, she, that is so amazing. Okay. I sat at her feet before my 50th birthday, okay? And she said to me, because I had the good fortune of being with her on several occasions, she's written me letters, I treasure. She said, my dear, you and I should start an organization for women with the hearts of 16-year-olds who love men and chocolate. She was 103. Now, what was her favorite kind of chocolate? Was it dark chocolate, I, brought, I assume? I always brought her, um, like, um, truffles, dark chocolate. So you used to bring her dark chocolate truffles. Do you know the name of the company that made those dark chocolate I truffles? Not, um, well, actually, today, if it was today, I would yeah. be bringing her Vosage, because those are my favorite. It would be Vosage, what? Vosage. Vosage. V-O-S-A-G-E-S. Okay, and was that like dark? What kind of chocolate is that? amazing dark chocolate. They, but they also mix it with wasabi. Uh-huh. Oh, it's incredible. Wow. So, uh, do you have a website or some I way do. we could contact? Very slowly, what is it? Laurel. Rosenberg.com. L A U R E L R O S E N B E R G.com. 